like I'm said, a I'm, this isn't no, even on you, really. I'm a good more friend. On I'm the a fact good friend. That if you were my that friend, you would know. Margaret Josephs insists Jenny Aiden spread Melissa Gorga cheating rumors and allegations that the whole Real Housewives of New Jersey cast was aware of the rumor for a year before it was discussed during season 13. Meanwhile, Melissa Gorga of the Real Housewives of New Jersey responded to Jennifer Aiden's cheating allegations. On the other hand, Gorga offers a beautiful home tour and discusses her 18-year marriage to Joe. What exactly did Margaret say about Melissa's cheating rumors? And what is Melissa's reaction to these allegations? Want more of the juiciest rumors about your favorite stars? For all types of celebrity news and pop culture, like the video, hit that subscribe button, and turn on notifications for Celebrity Pomp. According to Margaret Josephs, Jennifer Aiden is responsible for the stories that circulated during season 13 of The Real Housewives of New Jersey about Melissa Gorga's alleged affair. According to the woman who started the Macbeth collection, she does not know whether Teresa Guidis was involved in the accusations that Melissa cheated on her husband, Joe Gorga, yet she doesn't doubt that Jennifer had a part in the rumor revealed in the episode. When asked about Teresa Guidis' participation in the rumors about Joe and Melissa, the reality star told Page Six, I wish Teresa Guidis would have stopped it. I have no idea. I'm sure that Jennifer did say it. According to Margaret's account, Margaret has tried to patch things up between Teresa and the Gorgas, but Jennifer has never made such an effort. I don't know whether Aiden believes that she can't be good to the Gorgas because she's friends with Teresa, she added. I don't know if that's what she thinks but I believe Teresa would value Jennifer's efforts to reunite them, just as I did, as opposed to tearing them apart. She goes on to say that it was challenging to work on repairing her connection with Teresa while simultaneously witnessing the Real Housewives of New Jersey OG's relationship with her brother and sister-in-law deteriorate. Do you want to know the truth? That caused a lot of feelings. That made me feel bad. Since I knew it caused Melissa so much suffering, it crushed my heart when it happened. That was painful. It made me sad, she says. I'm sure Joe was feeling down as the season ended, and I'm sure Teresa was feeling down at the moment," she added. As everything was going down, Margaret gave an interview to E! News in which she made the accusation that Jennifer and Teresa knew about the charges of adultery against Melissa before the season 12 reunion. According to Marge, the Real Housewives of New Jersey pair met with Laura Lee Jansen, Marge's old best friend, one year before the beginning of shooting for season 13. She claims that Jennifer made an effort to bring up the infidelity accusations during the season 12 reunion, but that she, Melissa, and Jackie were able to prevent her from doing so. March said that her old acquaintance had gotten together with Jennifer and Teresa a year ago, referring to the meeting between the three. She had a meeting with them before the most recent reunion, outside of the regular season. It was hilarious that both she and Jennifer hung on to it. I knew they were aware of it because I knew. On the most recent get-together, they attempted to bring it up, which, given that they were unable to, I find to be very amusing. Dolores, Melissa, and I were all well-known to everyone, and we managed to get rid of them, she said. Melissa Gorga is probably sick of debunking false cheating claims. The Real Housewives of New Jersey star, previously the target of infidelity allegations on the hit Bravo series multiple times, none of which were proven, is responding to co-star Jennifer Aiden's claim on the Real Housewives of New Jersey season 13 trailer that she was seen making out with a man who wasn't her husband. Melissa exclusively told E! News, typical, while laughing off the notion. What will we do if we don't say Melissa is this way this season? She's a dancer, she's that, she's that, and she'll leave him for a better looking guy. Meanwhile, my marriage is the longest and strongest, which is amusing. Melissa believes the accusation is particularly questionable considering that Jen's husband, Bill Aiden, had an affair during one of Jen's pregnancies, which was exposed last season. It's almost as if they're trying to project their life onto you, which is incredibly terrible, Melissa remarked. What they said about me was a giant game of telephone between 50 individuals, and by the time it got to TV, it had lovely little wings on it, which is such a joke to me. It's almost as though you could do better. People know Joe and me as a couple, as humans, she said. Someone wants to be a housewife, so they're like, what do I need to do to ruffle feathers to get Bravo to recognize me? And it never works for them, the Bravo star revealed. The season 13 story may remind Real Housewives of New Jersey viewers of a season 4 event in which a friend of Kim D presented a guy on the program to convince Melissa's sister-in-law Teresa Guidis that she used to work at his strip club. Jesus, have mercy. Love is love, baby. She's so wasted, and so is Bill. Here we go again, Melissa said. What can we accuse Melissa of doing wrong? What can we lie about? And who can we find? What would an individual from her past be envious and enraged enough to gossip about her? That never works, ladies. Enough.
Melissa responded, I know she did, definitely, when asked whether she believes Teresa was involved in the infidelity rumors this season. Home sweet home, Melissa Gorga is giving E.T. an exclusive tour of her new house. Hello everyone, I'm Melissa Gorga and welcome to my home. Come on inside. E.T.'s Bryce Sander visited the Real Housewives of New Jersey actress at her home in the Garden State and spoke with her about her new six-bedroom, 5,000-square-foot mansion. Melissa's magnificent, stylish, glass-walled office space was one of the first and most essential stops on tour, which she described as a must when planning the home. I spend many hours in my office and on Zooms all day long, so I wanted it to be part of a house. Still, I also wanted to have my own space, Melissa explained excitedly by detailing all the elements of the office that make it unique, particularly the chandelier made of all crystal and diamond. Other notable features of Melissa's spectacular mansion include two built-in bars, a full-sized bar lounge downstairs packed with a private poker room, and an excellent decked-out gym area. You can imagine the Real Housewives of New Jersey guys and the poker games they're going to play in this room, she said, adding that as part of the agreement with her husband, Joe Gorga, he got the poker room and she got the glass room. The home is constantly loaded with booze at all times, she continued. You want an invitation to a Gorga party. The significant endeavor and makeover project, which included a magnificent outside patio, a giant media and entertainment center, and a kitchen, will be featured heavily in the forthcoming season of The Real Housewives of New Jersey. The season will also contain a lot of drama between Melissa and her sister-in-law Teresa Guadis and over allegations of adultery hurled against Melissa, which she has repeatedly denied. When asked whether the rumors she's experienced with her husband had enhanced their friendship, Melissa said, I'm not going to tell it strengthened it, but there's a lot of outside noise, particularly on reality television. We're one of the longest-running couples on reality TV in general, thus there's a lot of noise out there, and we've come to learn to shut it out and not listen to it, she continued. Joe and Melissa have been married for 18 years, have three children, and know how to remain solid and joyful amid reality show craziness. In the end, Joe and I truly spend a lot of time together. We maintain our feet on the ground, we recognize the turmoil that comes with being in this program, but we keep things pretty normal in our home," she spoke up. Even with our kids and school activities, we simply don't let the noise in. However, a family may be left shattered. Margaret Josephs, a member of the Bravo series The Real Housewives of New Jersey, may not be optimistic that Teresa Guadis and Melissa Gorga would ever stop their long-running conflict. Margaret said during an exclusive interview on Us Weekly's podcast, Getting Real with the Housewives on Friday, February 17th, that she believes there will need to be some intense counseling and apologies. At this point, I don't know whether this family could ever be restored, and I find that sad, said the counselor. Things went from bad to worse for Teresa and her brother Joe Gorga during their time together on The Real Housewives of New Jersey. Melissa and Joe chose not to attend Teresa's wedding to Luis Louis Rules in August 2022. Their decision was based on a rumor that the on-display singer had cheated on her husband. According to an exclusive source who spoke to us at the time, the Gorgas were said to have thought that Teresa played a role in the affair accusations that were coming out as they shot the season 13 finale. Since then, both parties have refuted claims that they committed cheating. Margaret told us weekly that the accusations of the couple cheating on one another didn't impact their relationship at all. I mean, it's so stupid, it's not even funny. That is implausible and comical, but people adore that drama. Although Teresa, the author of Standing Strong, accused Margaret of spreading conspiracy theories about her and Luis in the first episode of season 13, the two women came to terms with her differences and made up. Margaret made a lighthearted comment on Teresa's apologies, saying, I genuinely thought she's going to smash me in the head with a shovel and bury me in the backyard. I was pleasantly delighted, but obviously I was stunned, she said. She continued, that was only a baby step, but I was pleased that she wanted to reach out and discuss it, and I wish that it could be genuine and not just for appearances. So that was the compromise we came to, and we decided to go slowly. However, we've come to the end of the video, so please share your thoughts in the comment section, and for all types of celebrity news and pop culture, like the video, hit that subscribe button, and turn on notifications for Celebrity Pop.